Hello everyone, this is Ayşengur Altan. I'm back with a winter comfort classic. The spinach mushroom casserole on a bed of creamy mashed potatoes. You guys loved it the first time I shared and since it hit a million views, it inspired me to remake it with additions. We've got the cozy layers, mashed potatoes, spinach, creamy sauce and cheese. All in one comforting dish. So get ready for a heartwarming treat that's perfect for the chilly season. The original recipe my friends doesn't have any meat but this time I wanted to try it with some beef. You can also use chicken breast for it or just skip to the next step. Next, while my spinach leaves soaking in water, I'm gonna peel my potatoes, cut in chunks and cook in some water until soft. When making mashed potatoes, it is the best way to uh, cook the potatoes first in the water after peeling. It will be very easy to mash after that. I added only about more than half cup of butter. You don't have to cover all the way the potatoes. It will continue to cook with the steam. Then drain the water and mash it with a potato masher while it is still hot. Add a nice big chunk of butter and some salt and enough whole milk to get a nice consistency of mashed potatoes this is how i make simply the potato puree i cooked my meat chunks in pressure cooker for about 20 minutes they are nice and soft it is about 500 grams. I'm gonna use some of it for this recipe and keep the rest in the freezer whenever I need to add to my soup or a rice pilau or some stew. It will be ready. Now I'm ready to saute my ingredients for the spinach mushroom layer. After sauteing my onion in some olive oil I added the meat chunks, just add how much ever you want and these are the mushrooms from the freezer again, added some butter, it is less actually, I try to use less fat but it really makes a difference when you add more, some black pepper, paprika, pulby bear some salt give it a stir and meanwhile cut the spinach in chunks after sauteing the spinach for a couple of minutes I also seasoned them a bit more with extra salt and pepper. I lowered the heat and continued to cook for another 6-7 minutes. For the simple bechamel sauce I heated up about 2 tablespoons butter, added 2 heaped tablespoons flour, and saute it for a couple of minutes until I got nice smell. You can drizzle some olive oil. You can see the difference. It melt and uh, got some caramelized color. Add about one and a half cups to two cups of milk. And stir continuously until it thickens. It's optional but I grated some nutmeg, seasoned it with some salt 
and check the consistency you can always add some more milk until it is runny but still thickened a little bit okay i have my base potato puree the sauteed meat chunks with spinach and mushrooms and my bechamel sauce now I'm going to assemble everything into my baking dish use a deep dish pan when I first shared this recipe I used a bigger one for three four person you can divide the mixture into two baking trays deep dish pans like this I choose this because it can fit to my air fryer and I'm gonna cook tomorrow in here and this way it will be ready to cook the second day nice and hot out from the oven so to assemble the dish first spread the mashed potato and the spinach mushroom meat layer in the original recipe I add the bechamel sauce over the spinach layer mixed it and put it all at once but this time wanted to cover the bechamel sauce on top and finally of course top it with shredded kashar or mozzarella and it goes to the preheated 200 celsius degree oven until sizzling and golden color on top not this one <laughs> It's sizzling and smells delicious. Look at this. It's delicious, still very hot. The meat makes it bold even more tastier but it is also delicious without it you can add chicken pieces or just leave it it's perfect i think nice a simple pasta would go well as a side dish or maybe a light soup in the beginning you have the protein vegetable carbohydrates cheese coating on top very comforting and delicious i'm also going to show you later when i bake this in the air fryer how it looks and tastes so the next day i baked the leftover just placed a baking paper so it doesn't scratch my air fryer and first baked in 200 celsius degree for 10 minutes and in 205 degrees for another four minutes it was perfectly baked great recipe to make in the air fryer you can even use individual ramekins or silicone baking dish whatever you are using for your air fryer i hope to see you in the next episode on turkish food travel afiyet olsun <laughs>